today, you know, I I forget a very important position about our important end game of uh, this tournament, which never happened, but we were analyzing, you know, which became the the team of the, of the tournament. That's a nice study about what we were analyzing yesterday. Here, blacks achieved the draw. Black is achieving the draw. By forcing white to move the h pawn. And the forcing move is obviously king e6. Otherwise, the pawn is lost. But first, let's show again if. Uh, Now comes the crucial position that yesterday I kept on, <laughs> you know, confusing them. I mean, a written form I cannot confuse, but it really doesn't matter. Just to to show you once again, I mean, in case of king f8, in case you take the normal position, you win because it's really good to have this pawn back. In case of king e8, and now this happens, the wrong opposition, which you shouldn't take if these pawns were not there, in some way the exactly the same happens by a different move. But after king e6, in this cute uh, study. Now we have to move the pawn. According to where we move the pawn, just I will demonstrate with h4, the side which will take the opposition has to go to the square with the same color of this pawn. Now he has to go here. If the pawn would have been in on h3, had to go to e8 and take the wrong opposition. Maybe this is what I showed just because wrong opposition is, uh, you know, more uh, lively for people. Maybe you know, like ah, we all know that we have to go here. In this case, uh, this case, we really have to go there. After king e6, king f8, f7, h6, king f6, h5. Now h4 is a stalemate. And here is also the But now comes the pearl of the day. Now comes something. Something really tough. Really with the same issue. It's one of my favorite endgames. It's not like I remember it all the time. Every time I see it, I forget. But on the other hand, this will probably bring some an interesting issue. We were all talking about these things when we got to opposition. But what, ha what happens if there will be a possibility for black to gain the opposition using the squares in front of the pawn? Now believe or not, this has happened in a real game. Before this game was played, Mizelis, famous endgame composer, thought that this position is winning for Black. Happened the game, white is Rafael Waganian, one of the best players in the world of his time. And Black is Sunia Neto, who was there, luckily to be with Paul Banker. So Banker was his second. I mean, it's already. You have a relief in the German times, and also now with some extra issue, yeah, like a German shouldn't be allowed. You may have banker plus the computer, or just the computer, which will show you everything banker may show due to his experience and hard work. And let's not forget, uh, the guy was a candidate. This is very difficult. Really difficult. Now we got this, uh, we got into this uh, really related squares. I will not uh, touch it beyond some level. You know, the, 
uh, this is not the aim of ours, but uh, something complementary about what we have watched. Here, let's see how Waganyan lost. Waganyan lost uh, in the most normal way, went there. And already here, it is clear that King K2 runs into King H3. That's why he lost to opposition, not the game yet, but to opposition, which is very crucial. Because we'll come really the beautiful position. Now you see that King F4 loses to King E2, King takes F5, King F3, which happened in one of uh, Ahoy's games, which is a double Zuxuan, and because of uh, being that, White loses King E5, King G2, so King cannot reach to E3 square. And but what if we go down? Still we are losing, there is no stalemate there. If we go here, King enters there, or if we go here, King enters from there and just pushes the pawn. And lucky enough, F2 check happens. Mm -hmm. It's not like F2 with King on H1. This is some geometry. I mean, uh, one of the already forgotten uh, players, Valery Salov, he was explaining a lot of things by numerology, by this kind of things, why it happened. Uh, eventually he quit chess. It didn't help uh, to anyone else, of us. But now, how the draw will be achieved? The move is, the only move because of the related squares is King E2. King F4, King F2 is, is the same, so after King uh, G4, King E3, now the problem is King goes to H3, King goes to F4 and wins the pawn. So, black is nothing better than to transpose to what we have seen. Now, it is normal, once the pawn is advanced, you know, it comes to, to the same. And, uh, the very last thing I want to touch, I mean, this is my view, uh, I, I cannot uh, live without telling it. We have analyzed all these beautiful possibilities coming, uh, you know, from all these games. I will not mention the names, it is not important because many people will come into this. When a game is going deeper, you know, like uh, brings all these possibilities and once again, in my opinion, you know, in my opinion, uh, and I want to really state it, that uh, once a game is not finished in this type, in this tournament, there should be something. I was really, really about uh, the things uh, we have uh, spoken, I was thinking about it, I don't know if you will share uh, my opinion, uh, you know, it's a taste after all. I will sh show you two examples that uh, the judgment is yours. I lost the pawn. <laughs> okay, I did 